the EFF's hubris, desire to incite lawlessness, and their love of frivolous court battles has come at a high price to them in the end. The time for games is now over. The EFF will now have to pay the money they owe AFRI Forum. But why is the EFF so determined to be able to incite lawlessness and criminality? Maybe because these defeats to AFRI Forum have thrown a serious spanner into the works for what they had planned. Meanwhile, the EFF has described the Constitutional Court's dismissal of its appeal bid in the land invasions matter as disappointing and ahistorical. This comes after the Apex Court concluded that the application for leave to appeal has already been adjudicated by a, com a competent court. The matter which has been before our courts has now reached finality with a disappointing and frankly ahistorical judgment that criminalizes a practical expression of the demands to reverse the sins of colonialism and land theft. It is our considered view that the call for Africans to occupy land should they have the need to do so, either for residential or agricultural purposes, is part of the very identity of our nation and our history. 